if you want more, you have to be more. Raising your standards isn't just about wanting change, it's about becoming the person who deserves it. Take a second to think about this life doesn't give us what we want. Life gives us what we're willing to work for, what we're willing to fight for, and most importantly, what we demand of ourselves. It's easy to wish for a better life, to dream of being successful, of being healthy, of having strong, supportive relationships, but what are you actually doing every day to make those dreams real? You see, the difference between those who live extraordinary lives and those who simply get by isn't that one group is more talented, luckier, or even smarter. No. The real difference is that they have different standards. They're not willing to settle for mediocrity. They don't accept half measures. They hold themselves to a higher standard, and that drives everything they do. Now, let me ask you this. Are you living at the level you truly want, or are you settling for something less? Do you sometimes feel like there's a gap between where you are and where you want to be? Maybe you're frustrated, feeling like you could be doing more, achieving more, being more, and maybe you've even told yourself that someday things will change, that someday you'll have that success. That respect, that sense of fulfillment. But what if someday never comes? What if the truth is that you're actually settling? Settling for a version of yourself that's less than what you're capable of. So what does that look like in your life? Where are you compromising your standards? Is it in your work where you know you could put in more effort, bring more ideas, but you're holding back? Is it in your health? where you keep saying, I'll start exercising next week. But next week never arrives? Or is it in your relationships where you know you're not giving your best to the people who matter? Or maybe you're accepting less than what you deserve from others? Think about this deeply, because every single one of us has an area where we're holding back, where we're selling ourselves short. Now here's the thing, raising your standards isn't just about setting bigger goals. It's not just about wanting more. It's about becoming someone who deserves more. It's about embodying the qualities, the habits and the mindset of someone who demands excellence from life. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means to raise your standards, and more importantly, how to do it. Because if you don't change what you tolerate, if you don't change what you're willing to accept, you'll never see the results you're capable of. What if I told you that the only thing standing between you and a life of passion, purpose, and true fulfillment is the standard you set for yourself? By the time we're done here, You'll know exactly what it takes to go from where you are to where you want to be. And I promise you it's all within your control. You have the power to raise your standards, to set a new bar, to demand more from yourself and from your life. This hour will be the first step in a journey, a journey that will make you rethink everything you've been tolerating, every excuse you've allowed, and every limit you've set on yourself. And when you walk away from this, you won't just be motivated. You'll have a roadmap to change your life, to truly transform yourself by demanding nothing less than excellence in everything you do connect to their desires. Everyone wants more from life, more success, more health, more love, more happiness. But what most people don't realize is that these things don't just happen. They don't fall into your lap. They aren't granted by luck or fate. They're the result of standards. The standards you set today will define the quality of your life tomorrow. Acknowledge the inner conflict. Right now you might be thinking, I want to change, but I don't know where to start, or maybe I've tried before. But I just didn't have the discipline. Let me tell you, raising your standards is not about perfection. It's not about never failing. It's about setting a bar for yourself that pushes you beyond your comfort zone. It's about creating a new version of you. Someone who refuses to accept less than what you deserve. Inspire urgency. And if you're hearing this right now, know this, you were meant to hear this. Maybe today is the day you finally draw a line in the sand. No more compromises, no more excuses. This isn't just another video. This is a wake-up call. Your future depends on what you're willing to do right now. So are you ready? Are you ready to raise your standards, to raise your life? Stick with me, because in the next hour, we're going deep. We're going to tear down the walls you've built around yourself, the walls of comfort, complacency, and excuses. And we're going to build something new, something stronger, something worthy of the life you want. Let's dive in. It's time to raise your standards. Let's get one thing clear from the start. Standards are not dreams, they're not lofty goals you someday hope to achieve, they're not some ideal future version of you that exists in your mind. Standards are the minimum level of quality that you accept for yourself, they're the baseline of what you're, what you're willing to tolerate, the line you draw that says, this is what I expect and I won't go below it. Think of standards as the foundation of your life. They're not about what you hope will happen, they're about what you require to happen. They define the behaviors, actions, and outcomes you won't compromise on. You see, a goal is something you want to accomplish. But a standard is something you won't live without. When you make something a standard, you commit to it at a core level. It becomes non-negotiable. 
You don't try to meet your standards, you live by them every single day. And here's the powerful thing about standards, they create a structure around your life. They act as guardrails, guiding your decisions, your actions, your actions, and ultimately your results. Standards dictate how you show up for yourself and others. They determine the type of relationships you keep, the quality of work you produce, the level of health you maintain. Standards are not optional. They're the rules you live by, the expectations you set for yourself every single day. So what happens if you don't set high standards, or worse, if you let your standards slip? Well, let me paint you a picture of what low standards look like and how devastating they can be. When you accept low standards in your life, you're essentially telling yourself, I don't deserve better. I'm okay with less than what I want. And that mindset has a ripple effect on everything you do. Low standards create a cycle of mediocrity. If you accept a subpar performance at work, you start to lose motivation, you feel less driven, and that attitude starts to bleed into other areas of your life. Low standards in one area can quickly spread into others, whether it's your health, your relationships, or your finances. Imagine settling for a job that drains you. You dread Monday mornings, you're counting down the hours every day, and you're just going through the motions. Now, what kind of impact do you think that has on your mental health, on your energy levels? On your relationships with the people around you? Low standards breed frustration, and frustration leads to unhappiness. It's like slowly poisoning your own potential because you're afraid of demanding more. When we set low standards for ourselves, we put a limit on our success and happiness. We're telling ourselves, this is all I'll ever achieve. This is all I'm worth, and let's be honest, deep down, that thought eats away at us. Low standards create regret. And regret is a heavy weight to carry. It's looking back at your life and wondering, what if I had just tried harder? What if I had expected more of myself? But it's not just about missing out on opportunities or feeling frustrated. Low standards can affect your self-respect too. Think about it when you consistently settle for less, you're essentially breaking promises to yourself. You're saying, I'll do this. But then you don't follow through. Each time you let yourself down, your confidence takes a hit, your self-esteem lowers, and soon you start to doubt whether you're capable of more. Low standards lead to a lack of fulfillment. You know you're capable of more, but you're allowing yourself to fall short. And the problem is when you accept mediocrity. You'll find yourself surrounded by it. You'll attract people who have similarly low standards. Your environment becomes a reflection of your standards, and that's why it's crucial to raise them if you want a better life. Let's look at some real examples. History is filled with people who raised their standards and changed the course of their lives. Let's start with Michael Jordan. Early in his career, he wasn't the global icon we know today. He was cut from his high school basketball team. A devastating blow to any young athlete. But instead of lowering his standards, instead of accepting failure, he raised them. He trained harder developed his skills, and demanded excellence from himself every single day. He didn't just want to play basketball, he wanted to be the best. That became his standard, and he committed to it. And because of that relentless commitment, he became one of the greatest athletes of all time. Jordan didn't settle, and that's what set him apart. Or take Oprah Winfrey. She grew up in poverty, faced unimaginable hardships, and was told no countless times. But Oprah had a different standard for her life. She didn't accept her circumstances as her future. She didn't let her environment dictate her destiny. She set a new standard for herself, a standard of excellence, growth, and compassion. She refused to settle for less, and through hard work and resilience, she became one of the most influential people in the world. Oprah teaches us that standards are about self-worth. She knew she was worth more than what life had offered her up to that point. And let's talk about Steve Jobs. His standard was excellence. He didn't want Apple products to be just good. He demanded that they be exceptional, revolutionary, beautiful, and user-friendly. Jobs was known for his attention to detail, his refusal to compromise, and his insistence that his team meet the highest possible standards. And that commitment to excellence transformed Apple from a small company into one of the most valuable brands in the world. He didn't just want a successful company. He wanted a company that set the standard for innovation. So what do these people have in common? They raised their standards. They refused to settle for what was easy, what was comfortable, or what others told them they could achieve. They set a higher bar for themselves and demanded that their actions, their behaviors, and their outcomes meet that standard. And that's the key. The results you get in life are a reflection of the standards you set. When you look at these success stories, remember that they didn't start as the people we see today. They didn't start out as legends. They started as ordinary people who made an extraordinary choice to expect more of themselves. And that choice changed everything. If you want a life that's extraordinary, you have to set extraordinary standards. You have to raise the bar on what you're willing to accept from yourself and from the world around you. And yes, it's going to be challenging. It's going to take effort. And it's going to require that you push through discomfort. 
But the reward is a life that's truly fulfilling, a life that's a reflection of who you're capable of becoming, not just who you are now. Now, take a moment to ask yourself, what are my standards right now? What am I accepting that's less than what I truly want? Where am I settling in my life? Because if you can identify those areas, you can start to make a change. And that's what we're going to dive into in the next part of this video. We're going to break down the exact steps you need to raise your standards and create a life that reflects your full potential. Raising your standards isn't just a choice. It's a commitment to a new way of living. And I promise you, when you make that commitment, everything around you will start to change. So let's do this together. Let's raise our standards and let's raise our lives. Now let's get real. If you want to change your life, you have to be willing to face some hard truths. This process starts with asking yourself tough questions. These aren't the kinds of questions we usually ask because they can be uncomfortable. But remember, comfort doesn't lead to growth. So take a moment and ask yourself, what am I currently settling for in my life? Really think about this. Where are you accepting good enough instead of pushing for greatness? Where in your life are you saying, this will do when deep down you know it's far from what you truly want? For example, maybe it's in your career. Maybe you're showing up every day doing the bare minimum, just getting through each day. Or perhaps it's in your relationships. Are you accepting relationships that don't truly fulfill you or maybe even drain you? Are you letting toxic behaviors slide because it's easier than setting boundaries? Now, here's another powerful question. Where have I let my standards slip? We've all done it. Whether it's putting off healthy habits, tolerating disrespect in relationships, or letting financial goals fall by the wayside. What's crucial here is to recognize these areas without judgment. We're not here to beat ourselves up, we're here to become aware. It's only when you see the reality that you can begin to change it. The goal of these questions is to help you look at your life through a lens of honesty. When you identify the areas where you're settling, where you're letting yourself down, you're shining a light on where you have room to grow. And remember, every successful person has gone through this exact process. They've had to confront the uncomfortable truths about their own lives before they could make meaningful changes. Now that you're asking these tough questions, let's look at some common areas where people tend to lower their standards. By understanding these weak spots, you can start to see patterns in your own life. Relationships, one of the most common areas people settle is in their relationships. Maybe you're in a relationship that doesn't bring you joy, or you're around people who don't encourage you to grow. Sometimes we keep people in our lives out of habit or fear of being alone, but let me tell you something, the people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your standards. If the people in your life don't push you to become a better version of yourself, then they're not helping you raise your standards. So ask yourself, are you accepting relationships that don't fulfill you? Are you surrounding yourself with people who lift you up or are they holding you back? Career and professional life, another area where people often settle is in their careers. Are you just going through the motions at work, putting in the bare minimum because it's just a job? Or maybe you're not pursuing that promotion or new opportunity because it feels risky. Here's the truth. Your career is a big part of your life. When you settle in your work, it's not just a paycheck you're compromising on. It's your sense of purpose, your daily fulfillment, and ultimately, your long-term success. Ask yourself if you're genuinely engaged in what you do or if you're just doing enough to get by. Health and wellness or health is another area where standards tend to slip. Think about it, how many times have you told yourself you'll start eating better, exercising more, or getting more sleep? Only to let those promises fall through? The standards you set for your physical health affect everything else in your life. When you compromise on your health, you're lowering the energy and vitality you bring to every other area of your life. Ask yourself, hey, am I accepting less than optimal health? Am I treating my body with the respect it deserves? Or am I cutting corners and settling for less? personal growth and development. Finally, let's talk about personal growth. Are you actively investing in your own development? Are you reading, learning, challenging yourself and expanding your skills? Or have you allowed yourself to become stagnant? Accepting the current version of yourself without striving to improve? The truth is, personal growth is non-negotiable if you want to raise your standards. You can't expect more out of life if you're not willing to become more. Once you identify these weak spots, you're already one step closer to transforming your life. Recognizing where your standards have slipped doesn't mean you're failing, it means you're aware. And awareness is the foundation of change. Now that you've pinpointed the areas where you're settling, let's set a baseline. This baseline is your starting point, the current reality of where you stand in each area of your life.
The purpose of a baseline is not to make you feel limited, but to give you a clear picture of where you are so you can start charting a path toward where you want to be. To do this, break it down into each area we discuss relationships, career, health, and personal growth. Write down exactly where you stand in each of these areas. Don't sugarcoat it. Be brutally honest, for example. In relationships, do you feel respected, loved, and valued? Are you surrounded by people who bring out the best in you, or are you tolerating negativity and mediocrity? In your career, are you just getting by, or are you pushing yourself to excel? Are you learning, growing, and contributing, or are you clocking in and out, waiting for the weekend? In terms of health, are you prioritizing fitness and nutrition, or are you neglecting your body? Are you making choices that build strength and energy, or are you settling for comfort and convenience? In personal growth, are you actively learning and challenging yourself, or have you fallen into a routine that doesn't push you forward? This baseline assessment is essential. It's a snapshot of your current standards and where they might be limiting you. Once you have this baseline, you can start making real decisions about what needs to change. Think of this as your roadmap. If you don't know where you're starting from, you'll never know how to get to where you want to go. This is where accountability comes in. Once you've assessed where you stand, take ownership. Own the fact that you're responsible for setting these standards and that you have the power to change them. No one else can raise your standards for you. It's an inside job. The moment you take full responsibility, you give yourself the power to take control of your life. When you reflect on each area, start thinking about the changes you want to make. What do you want your relationships, career, health, and personal growth to look like? Set a vision for yourself. When you're clear on where you want to go, you'll start to see how raising your standards is the key to getting there. So here's the truth. This is not a quick fix. Raising your standards is not something you do overnight. It's a process of continual self-assessment, honest reflection, and committed action. But the rewards, they're life-changing. When you decide to stop accepting less than you deserve, you step into a life filled with purpose, fulfillment, and true satisfaction. Now, you have the tools to identify where your standards are low, where you're settling, and what areas you need to change. The next step is to make a commitment, a commitment to yourself to raise the bar, to demand more, and to become the best version of yourself. This commitment is where true transformation begins. So take that baseline, take ownership, and let's get ready to raise your standards. Because the life you desire is waiting for you on the other side of that decision. And remember, if you want more, you have to become more. Start now. And don't stop until your standards reflect the life you truly want. Let's dive into one of the most profound concepts behind raising your standards, the ripple effect. Imagine this when you decide to raise your standard in one area of your life, let's say fitness, it doesn't just stay confined to that realm. No, the effects ripple out, influencing every facet of your life. This is the magic of transformation. When you commit to a regular fitness routine, you start to notice changes in your physical body. You feel stronger, healthier, and more energetic. This newfound vitality impacts how you show up in the world. You walk with confidence. You engage more actively in conversations. You take on new challenges with a can-do attitude. This shift in your physical state influences your mental and emotional states as well. As your confidence grows, it spills over into your career. You start presenting ideas more assertively in meetings, volunteering for leadership roles and pursuing promotions you might have previously shied away from, you believe in yourself because you've seen what discipline and commitment can achieve in your fitness journey, and now you want to apply that same approach to your professional life. This ripple effect doesn't stop there. As your professional life improves, you may find that you have more resources to invest in personal development. You start reading more, attending workshops, and expanding your skill set. The new knowledge and skills enhance your career even further, creating a virtuous cycle of growth the higher you raise your standards in one area, the more you elevate every other aspect of your life. Think about it when you become committed to high standards, you naturally attract higher standards from those around you. You become a beacon of inspiration, encouraging your friends and family to step up their game. This collective elevation can create a powerful community effect where everyone is pushing each other to be better. Next, let's talk about how raising your standards leads to consistent positive habits. High standards are not just about setting lofty goals, they're about establishing a way of life that reflects those goals every single day. When you have high standards, you don't just aim for excellence in spurts, you consistently pursue it. Why is consistency so crucial? Because our habits ultimately shape our destiny. It's not the occasional effort that leads to success, it's the small daily actions that compound over time. 
when you hold yourself to high standards, you are likely to engage in positive behaviors consistently. Whether it's your commitment to health, learning, relationships, or work ethic, these behaviors accumulate and create lasting change. Let's say you decide to raise your standard around learning. Instead of watching mindless television after work, you commit to reading just one book a month. That seems manageable, right? But here's the power of consistency over the course of a year. That's 12 books. By the end of the year, you've absorbed a wealth of knowledge, gained new perspectives, and sharpened your critical thinking. This consistent learning habit can transform you into a more competent professional, an engaging conversationalist, and a more interesting person overall. Now let's look at fitness again. When you raise your standards for your health and start exercising regularly, this consistency leads to a stronger body and clearer mind. As a result, you are more productive at work, you engage better with colleagues, and you handle stress more effectively. Your life transforms in a way that's almost magical because it's not just about the physical benefits, it's about how these habits build momentum in every area of your life. Moreover, high standards help you develop discipline. Discipline is the bridge between goals and achievement. When you consistently meet your own standards, you train your mind to be resilient, to push through discomfort, and to stay focused on your objectives. You learn to prioritize long-term fulfillment over short-term gratification, creating a lifestyle that serves your higher purpose. Finally, let's discuss the importance of personal responsibility in this journey of raising standards. The truth is, nobody is going to raise your standards for you. You are the architect of your life, and it's up to you to decide what your standards will be. This means taking ownership of your choices, actions, and their consequences. When you adopt high standards, you must also acknowledge that your current circumstances, whether positive or negative, are a result of the standards you've previously set. This can be a tough pill to swallow, but it's a critical step in your transformation. Taking personal responsibility empowers you. It means that you have the ability to change your circumstances. You stop blaming external factors like your job, your upbringing, or even your environment. You recognize that while these factors might influence you, they do not dictate your potential for growth. The power lies within you. You can choose to raise your standards and create the life you desire. Embracing this responsibility also means being proactive about your growth. It's about setting clear, actionable standards in various aspects of your life, be it your relationships, health, career, or personal development. And when you slip up and you will, because we're human, you don't wallow in self-pity. Instead, you analyze what went wrong, recommit to your standards, and move forward with determination. You see, personal responsibility is not just about accountability, it's about empowerment. The moment you accept that you hold the keys to your own transformation, you unleash your potential, you become proactive in your decisions and relentless in your pursuit of excellence. You begin to see failures not as dead ends, but as learning opportunities on the road to success. In conclusion, raising your standards is transformative. It initiates a ripple effect that impacts every area of your life, fosters consistency that shapes your destiny, and cultivates a sense of personal responsibility that empowers you to take control. When you commit to higher standards, you are not just changing your life, you are elevating it. And as you raise your standards, remember you are worthy of every bit of greatness that comes your way. Embrace it, own it, and watch your life transform. Now that we understand the importance of raising our standards and how it can transform our lives, let's get into the actionable steps you can take to elevate your standards. The first step is to get clear on your values. What are values? Values are the core principles and beliefs that guide your decisions and actions. They define what is important to you and serve as a compass for your life. When you align your standards with your core values, you create a solid foundation for growth and fulfillment. So how do you identify your values? Start by asking yourself some probing questions. What brings me joy? What am I passionate about? What do I admire in others? Reflect on moments when you felt truly satisfied and fulfilled what was happening at those times. What qualities or principles were present? Take the time to write these down. It might be integrity, family, health, adventure, or personal growth. Once you have a list of your core values, assess how well your current standards align with them. If you value health but are neglecting your physical fitness, it's time to raise that standard. Aligning your standards with your values creates a powerful motivation to pursue excellence. When you live according to your values, every decision becomes easier you'll find that raising your standards is not just an external change, it's an internal alignment with who you truly are. Step two involves defining your non-negotiables. What does that mean? Non-negotiables are the deal breakers in your life, the standards you refuse to compromise on. Think about each area of your life, health, relationships, career, personal growth, and finances. 
What are the absolute essentials that you need to maintain your integrity and happiness in these areas, for instance, in health? A non-negotiable might be exercising at least three times a week. In relationships, it could be that you will not tolerate dishonesty. Creating these non-negotiables allows you to establish clear boundaries for yourself. Once you've identified them, write them down and refer to them often. This practice helps you stay committed to your standards, even when life gets challenging. It's easy to let standards slip when we face obstacles, but having defined non-negotiables acts as a shield against complacency. Let's take a moment to visualize what this looks like in practice. Imagine you have set a non-negotiable to spend quality time with your family at least once a week. This commitment to family time creates a structure that prioritizes relationships over other distractions like work or social media. It ensures that you are actively nurturing your connections, which is vital for emotional health and happiness. Step three is about eliminating limiting beliefs. These are the internal narratives that tell you what you can or cannot achieve. They often stem from past experiences, societal expectations, or even negative self-talk. Identifying these beliefs is crucial. Ask yourself, what thoughts or beliefs hold me back? Do you hear yourself saying things like, I don't deserve this or this is too hard? It's time to challenge those thoughts. Write them down and analyze where they come from. Are they based on truth or simply fear? Now, for every limiting belief, write a counterstatement that reflects a more empowering perspective. For example, if you think, I can't achieve my fitness goals, reframe it to, I am capable of making progress every day. This shift in mindset is powerful. It's also important to surround yourself with positive affirmations and reminders. Create a mantra that resonates with you, something like, I am worthy of success and happiness repeated daily. You can even record it and listen to it in the morning as you start your day. Let me share a quick story. I once met a woman who believed she would never find love because of her past experiences. After working on her limiting beliefs, she realized that her past didn't define her future. She reframed her belief to, I am open to love. And I deserve a healthy relationship. This new mindset led her to meet an incredible partner within months. She raised her standards and transformed her life. The fourth step is to build powerful habits that reflect your new standards. Habits are the actions that embody your values and non-negotiables, and they create the framework for your life. Start by identifying daily routines that align with your standards. For example, if one of your non-negotiables is to prioritize health, your morning routine could include a workout, a healthy breakfast, and some mindfulness practices. These daily rituals set the tone for your day and reinforce your commitment to higher standards. You might also consider a goal-setting exercise where you write down specific measurable actions that, actions that align with your new standards. For instance, if your goal is to improve your professional skills, set a habit to read one book related to your field every month or to attend a workshop every quarter. Accountability can be a game changer in building these habits. Find a partner, join a group, or use apps that help you track your progress. Sharing your goals with someone else can create a supportive environment where you both push each other to stay accountable. And remember, change doesn't happen overnight. It's about incremental improvements over time. Celebrate small victories along the way. Each step forward is a testament to your commitment to raising your standards. Finally, step five is about surrounding yourself with high standards. This is perhaps one of the most impactful steps you can take. The people you spend time with significantly influence your mindset, habits, and ultimately your success. Let's evaluate your inner circle. Are you surrounded by individuals who inspire and uplift you, or are they those who settle for mediocrity? When you spend time with people who have high standards, their mindset and habits naturally rub off on you. Think about it. If your friends are dedicated to their health, consistently work on their goals, and strive for excellence, you're more likely to adopt those same behaviors. You become a product of your environment, so consciously curate your circle. Seek mentors or role models who embody the standards you aspire to, whether they're in your personal life, career, or a figure you admire from afar. Having someone to look up to can provide valuable insights and motivation. Connect with people who challenge you to grow and who support your ambitions. Consider joining communities, whether online or offline, that resonate with your values and aspirations. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals fosters a sense of belonging and drives you to maintain your high standards. In conclusion, raising your standards is not just about setting higher expectations, it's about taking deliberate, actionable steps to align your life with your values, eliminate barriers, create empowering habits, and surround yourself with the right influences. Remember, every step you take towards raising your standards brings you closer to the life you truly desire. You have the power to shape your destiny, so take that leap and watch your life transform. As you embark on this transformative journey of raising your standards, it's important to acknowledge that challenges are inevitable. 
you're likely to encounter resistance not just from the world around you, but also from within. First, let's address the external pushback. When you begin to raise your standards, those around you may not respond positively. This could be friends, family, or colleagues who are accustomed to seeing you in a certain light. They might question your decisions, challenge your commitment, or even criticize you for wanting to change. They might say things like, why do you have to be so extreme? Or you used to be fine the way you were. This is common because people often fear change, especially when it disrupts their own comfort zones. But here's the truth. The moment you decide to elevate your life, you are going to challenge the status quo, not just in your life, but in the lives of those around you. This can create tension and unease. You may feel the urge to shrink back to make others comfortable. But remember this. Your growth is not only for you, it can inspire others to elevate their own standards as well. Now let's turn inward. You'll also face internal doubts and fears. When you start raising your standards, your brain may respond with negative self-talk. You might hear voices telling you that you're not capable or that you're setting yourself up for failure. This is normal. Our minds are wired to protect us from perceived threats, including the discomfort of growth. But let me remind you, these doubts are often baseless. They stem from past experiences and limiting beliefs. It's vital to recognize these thoughts for what they are just thoughts. They do not define your reality or your potential. So how do you overcome these challenges? How do you stay committed when the going gets tough? One, set reminders first, use reminders. In this digital age, we have countless tools at our disposal. Set reminders on your phone or calendar to revisit your goals regularly. These nudges can reinforce your commitment to your new standards. You might create a daily affirmation that pops up on your phone, I am worthy of my goals, and I commit to my journey of excellence. Two, visual cues. Additionally, consider creating a vision board or keeping visual cues around your space that represent your goals and standards. Pictures of what you aspire to achieve, quotes that inspire you, or symbols of your values can serve as constant reminders of your commitment. Three, Revisit goals next. Establish a habit of revisiting your goals. Set aside time weekly or monthly to reflect on your progress. Ask yourself, what have I accomplished? What challenges have I faced? How can I adjust my strategies? This practice helps you stay connected to your vision and gives you the opportunity to make necessary adjustments. Four, practice self-discipline. Self-discipline is crucial in this process. It's easy to get sidetracked or discouraged, especially when things don't go as planned. Build discipline by implementing small, manageable changes in your routine that align with your higher standards. Start with one habit, such as exercising for 10 minutes a day or dedicating 15 minutes to reading. As you succeed in these small areas, your confidence will grow, reinforcing your commitment to higher standards. Five, accountability. Also consider finding an accountability partner. Share your goals and your journey with someone who will support you and challenge you to stay on track. This person can be a friend, family member or even a mentor who understands your aspirations. Having someone to discuss your struggles and successes with can provide motivation and help you navigate resistance together. Six, embrace growth mindset. Lastly, adopt a growth mindset. Understand that challenges are not failures, they are opportunities for growth. Embrace the process, knowing that discomfort is a sign that you're stepping out of your comfort zone when you face resistance. Remind yourself that it's a part of the journey and that each challenge is an opportunity to strengthen your resolve. To illustrate, let's consider a successful entrepreneur who once faced significant pushback from their peers when they decided to pursue a new venture. Many doubted their ability to succeed, yet they persisted, using the very doubt as fuel to prove themselves right. They created a support system, set reminders, and stayed true to their vision. This resilience not only led them to success, but also inspired others around them to pursue their own dreams. Finally, raising your standards will come with its challenges, both external resistance and internal doubts. But by employing strategies such as setting reminders, regularly revisiting your goals, practicing self-discipline, seeking accountability, and embracing a growth mindset, you can overcome these obstacles. Remember, every step you take towards higher standards is a step towards a more fulfilled and extraordinary life. Embrace the journey and don't let the challenges deter you. You are capable of greatness. Stay committed, stay focused, and raise those standards. Welcome to a transformative moment in your journey of raising your standards. This segment is about harnessing the incredible power of visualization and affirmations. These tools can propel you towards the life you desire and deserve. When we talk about visualization, we're not just dreaming. This is a deliberate practice of creating a clear mental image of your ideal self and life. It's about immersing yourself in the feelings, thoughts, and beliefs of your future success. You see, 
Visualization activates the same neural pathways in your brain as actual experience. When you vividly imagine your goals and how it feels to achieve them, you begin to condition your mind to expect those outcomes. And alongside visualization, we have affirmations. These are powerful statements that reinforce your commitment to high standards. They help you internalize your goals and can significantly shift your mindset. Affirmations challenge negative self-talk, replacing it with empowering beliefs. Now, let's embark on a guided visualization exercise. Find a comfortable position, whether you're sitting or lying down. Close your eyes gently and take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it for a moment. And exhale slowly through your mouth. Let the tension release from your body with each breath. As you breathe, allow yourself to enter a state of relaxation. Picture yourself in a serene and peaceful place, a place where you feel safe and free. This could be a beach, a forest, or even a room that you love. Feel the ground beneath you, the air on your skin, and let it all wash over you. Now imagine your ideal self standing before you. This is the version of you that has raised their standards and is living life at a whole new level. What do they look like? How do they carry themselves? Visualize them standing tall, exuding confidence and determination. Now, focus on different areas of your life. Start with your career. See yourself thriving in a job that fulfills you, surrounded by supportive colleagues, achieving goals you once thought were unattainable. Feel the excitement and passion in your work. Hear the accolades, the appreciation for your contributions. Next, shift your focus to your health and wellness. Picture yourself in peak physical condition, radiating vitality and energy. Feel the strength in your body as you engage in activities that you love. Imagine the joy of healthy meals nourishing you and the endorphins flowing as you exercise. Now, visualize your relationships. See yourself surrounded by loving, supportive friends and family who inspire you to be your best. Feel the warmth of genuine connections, the laughter shared, and the moments of deep understanding. Lastly, visualize your financial abundance. Picture yourself living comfortably, pursuing your passions without fear of financial limitations. Envision the freedom that comes with financial security, traveling, helping others, and giving back. As you bask in this vision, allow the feelings of gratitude and joy to fill your heart. Say to yourself, I deserve this life. I am worthy of my highest standards. Stay in this space for a few more moments, letting the visualization solidify in your mind. Now slowly begin to bring your awareness back to the present moment. Wiggle your fingers and toes, and when you're ready, open your eyes. Take a moment to reflect on the feelings and images that surfaced during the visualization. That was a powerful experience, and now it's time to reinforce it with affirmations. Remember, these statements are declarations of your commitment to raising your standards and achieving your goals. Let's go through some affirmations together. I want you to repeat each one after me, either aloud or silently in your mind. I deserve the best, and I give my best. This affirmation is a reminder that you are worthy of greatness, and by giving your best, you attract the best in return. I am committed to excellence in everything I do. This reinforces your dedication to high standards and encourages you to approach every task with intention and focus. I have the power to create the life I desire. This empowers you to take ownership of your life and choices, recognizing that you have the agency to shape your future. I am constantly growing and improving. This affirmation acknowledges the journey of personal growth, reminding you that every step forward is progress, no matter how small. I attract positive and supportive people into my life. This helps you align with individuals who uplift and inspire you, creating an environment that nurtures your aspirations. I embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. This shifts your mindset to view obstacles as stepping stones, fostering resilience and perseverance in your journey. I am worthy of love, success, and happiness. This statement reinforces your inherent value and the belief that you deserve to live a fulfilling life. My standards elevate my life. This final affirmation encapsulates the essence of today's message, reminding you that raising your standards will lead to a higher quality of life in every aspect. As you incorporate these visualizations and affirmations into your daily routine, remember that consistency is key. Practice them every morning or evening, allowing them to shape your thoughts and beliefs. Over time, you will notice profound changes in your mindset and actions. You'll begin to expect more from yourself and others, and as a result, your life will reflect those higher standards. Stay committed to this journey. Visualize your ideal life and affirm your power to achieve it every single day. You are capable of greatness, believe in it, and take action towards it. As we approach the end of our journey today, I want to emphasize the importance of taking action. It's not enough to simply understand the power of raising your standards. You must actively engage with it to transform your life. 
Today, I challenge you to choose one area of your life where you will begin this process of elevation. It could be your health, relationships, career, or personal development. The key is to make a conscious decision commit to raising your standards in that specific area. So what does this look like? Let's break it down into actionable steps. Identify your focus area. Take a moment to reflect. Which area of your life feels the most neglected? Where have you been settling for less? This is where you'll begin your transformation. Set your new standard. Once you've identified your focus area, define what your new standard looks like. Be specific. For instance, if you chose health, instead of saying, I want to be healthier, commit to a standard like I will exercise for at least 30 minutes, five days a week, and eat at least three servings of vegetables daily, the more precise you are, the easier it will be to hold yourself accountable. Create a plan. Develop a plan for how you will implement this new standard. Write down actionable steps, set deadlines, and outline what resources or support you might need. Maybe it's joining a gym, hiring a coach, or enrolling in a course. Make it tangible. Find accountability. Share your new standard with someone you trust, a friend, family member, or mentor. Having someone to hold you accountable can provide motivation and encouragement as you embark on this journey. Celebrate progress. As you begin to raise your standards, celebrate every step you take toward your goal. Each small victory reinforces your commitment and keeps you motivated. Don't wait until you've achieved your ultimate goal to acknowledge your progress. Every action counts. Now, let's take a step back and look at the big picture. When you raise your standards in one area, you are not only changing that aspect of your life, but also setting off a chain reaction that impacts everything else. Picture this as you commit to your health, you'll notice increased energy levels leading to improved focus and productivity in your career as you enhance your relationships by demanding higher standards of respect and communication. You'll experience deeper connections and more fulfilling interactions. Each high standard creates a ripple effect influencing your mindset, behavior, and ultimately your entire life experience. You're not just raising standards, you're setting a new course aligned with your highest potential. As we conclude, remember this powerful truth, the quality of your life will always mirror the quality of the standards you set. If you want more from life, you must demand more from yourself. Do not settle for mediocrity. You are capable of greatness. Embrace that power. Today is the day to take that first step. Commit to raising your standards, and in turn, you will watch your life transform in ways you never thought possible. So I urge you to take action now. Choose your focus area, set your new standard, and start living the life you deserve. Remember, you have the power to create a life that exceeds your wildest dreams. Your journey begins now. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Together, let's commit to not just raising our standards, but living our best lives. Until next time, keep striving for excellence, and remember you are enough, and you are worthy of the best.